morning guys so today we're going to be making our second project out of your crooked hold on i'm not used to you guys being over here just want to straighten you up a little bit we're going to make our second project from the december monthly subscription box that i get from deco exchange and that i am using this swag this is the only piece i'm using from the box but i did not have one of these and I wanted to make a V project, so here we go. Here we go. All right. I'm hoping we can get this done before my granddaughter wakes up. That's my goal today. I'm gonna cut some of these. Using my mesh roller, I like the mesh to come off the front because it lays on your mat perfectly. All right. I was in here the other night prepping some tulip wreaths, and so I have stuff everywhere. You know, I always tell myself my craft room is messy because it's like Christmas rush and da-da-da-da-da. And then it's still messy. Let's see here. All right. I'm doing 24-inch cuts. I'm going to do um, five. That'll give me ten pieces. where we're going to start okay every time I change seasons or themes I get so excited to see the colors again and this black and yellow is just you can't get any better than that right all right we're gonna fluff this base out this is basically a 24 inch swag I love making swags now Honestly, I honestly make, love making swags more than I love making wreaths, and that's crazy to say, but I do. They're like my favorite thing. And it's crazy because I don't make more of them, but every time I do, I'm like, this is my jam. I love this. So anyway, all right, we're going to do what I do all the time. We're going to roll the top three times and clip it. We're going to roll the bottom, scrunch up the center. I have videos doing this really up close if you couldn't see what I was doing. There's tons and tons on my page. And they're always video number one because you have to make your base to get started. I'm trying to leave my hair down, but she's getting ready to go up. She is getting ready to go up, you guys. I cannot take it. I really hope we get this done before the grand wakes up. I'm in here early. For 
me, I'm going down both sides because I know I have my sign. alternating the black and the yellow. How many of you decorate with bees? They're so cute. They're adorable. Is our base and I'm happy with how much we have on here I'm gonna see how our sign is going to do I'm gonna turn it I'm gonna turn it sideways I need to do that next This might be the part that gets us in trouble because we're trying to be quiet.
kind of like catty corner. Turn a little bit this way. That one went in super easy. Sometimes they do, but not in general for me. Everything back here is dark. I can't see. Good to me, but it made it too. The way I put it in, it is too crooked. That's not right. Let me find her. second this is too far off and I have it on there so good it'll be hard to get it back out I'm just gonna cut her. She don't want to come loose. She was really, really on there good. But girlfriend, you don't look right. We gotta get you around. Pull you downtown. You have to get this right. You can't continue on until your sign is right, right? I think this is it. Ooh, it made me hot. Yes, that's what I wanted. Okay, now that we have that settled, we get to cut our ribbons. I hate it when that happens. to do a 
let's do, let's start with eight. I think it's plenty. And that's 13 inches. Are they going both ways? They must be, because every time I try to match it up, it doesn't. Okay. Then we're going to do the yellow. Eight at 13 inches. If you don't mind, share this video. <clears throat> you girls are always great about sharing. And I appreciate you. Let's make our packets. So we're going to dovetail. We're going to line these all up in the same length, seam to seam, cut it at an angle. Same thing. my eyeball like itching itching it oh it's my hair my hair is down I'm pulling it up it's gonna have to go up it's gonna have to go up I wore it down yesterday but today it's making me like hot probably because I'm working all right tight doing this without a mirror or anything. Okay. Get this mop up on top of my head. Mm, that definitely doesn't feel right and I can't see myself that far away. Here's hoping. Here's hoping it's okay, but it felt really, it feels really weird. <laughs> oh well. I feel good because I'm already 20 degrees cooler. Anybody else feel my pain? Now, I'm going to take a two and a half inch, a one and a half inch, and I'm going to layer those and make my little ribbon tails. This is so cute. I love it. It's already in the shop. You can find it linked below. If you want to take it home, I'm only making one of these. I only have one swag exactly like this. So, um, if you want it, go get it. Because people are already shopping. I have sold Patriotic. I have sold Easter. Um, people are already thinking forward to the next set of holidays. So, I'm only telling you that to tell you that if you want it, go get it. Okay. 
open that up and where the seam is, you just scrunch that right down the center and it gives you like a little bow tie. And I'm just kind of placing these around as my eye sees fit. So they're not necessarily going in every single piece of mesh or anything like that. For me, I'm just like, I want one right here. So I found two ties. The thing I love about these swags is that you can always find a couple of ties. They have a ton of ties on them. I love that. ties we're just I mean uh ribbon tails we're just gonna have to see how it goes see how it goes see how it goes this is super cute Super cute. I'm going to keep going till we run out, but I think I might need a couple more, but we'll just see. We're also putting a couple of bows on here. So, I actually think I'm going to put the bow on first because we might be um, okay. We might be okay. So this is where we are. And we are going to make, um, I'm going to make a smaller bow for the top. We need to open this guy. the top. I thought that was upside down. For the top, I'm going to do like five. Let's do six inch tails. If we need to cut them, we can. I'm going to do a six inch loop. Two loops. Are we still recording? Are we still good? I normally break this up, but we're just we're just making the whole project today. All right. Make sure you go to the top of my page and click follow and that is how you will see all of my videos a lot of you um find me by like say one video and then you can't find the other content you just need to go up to the top and click on follow so you're a part of the page
for this project, we're doing one video, so this is the only video you need. All right. Going in with this guy. This is so cute. I'm just going to do one loop. I don't want to cover up my sign. Black Chanel skin. do fluff a little bit off of the project and then I finish on my project. That's just how I like to do it. It's one side. And I'm going to place it over here. trying you guys give me just one second I'm trying I keep losing my Chanel stems That's the loop to hang it. I got a couple loops in there, so twist in there. I'm going to finish fluffing actually on. Um, my project. Okay. That's what we have. like to make um, a little bow for the bottom. I'm going to do eight inch tails. I'm going to do five inch loops, which are small, five and a half. Let's do five and a half. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two of those. Come down and match that other tail. Okay, girls, if you're in my private group, did you do your homework? Who did their homework? Let me know below. Who did their homework? I've got more coming at you, so you need to keep up. We're doing one. Black Chanel stem. I should have plugged in my glue gun. We're going to cover it with this yellow dot. Let me open my window and get my glue gun going, you guys. Grab my little glue sticks. Always tie off the center. It just looks good. It looks finished um, for me personally. I just think that's important. This is just a sweet little bow for the bottom. I didn't want it to be overpowering, which is hard for me, but I think I pulled it off just fine. It's a precious, precious little bow. We're almost finished, you guys. We need to put the fun, like, look at this pick. Look how fun that pick is. And it's glit has glitter, too good. It's too good. All right. I can finish this on the project, but for now, this is our sweet little bow. It's going right. That one's kind of over that way. <clears throat> This one's going around the bottom. Oh, that's super cute. Super cute. Now I have to get down through all these layers. Bear with me.
and just tying that off in the back. I didn't lose it this time, so, all right. And now I like to stand up when I do my final fluffing here. And I will show you what we have. Ta-da. She's pretty. But I want to take the polka dots. And, well, they're both polka dots. So this is a like a Swiss dot, and this is the larger polka dot. I'm gonna dovetail those. I'm gonna start up here by my bow. And I'm just gonna bring these down the side. And then I'm just going to let it uh, be a dovetail right here. So I'm just pulling those apart and I'm pulling these apart. My ruffle can go in there. My tails are still in there. Okay. I like it. Now we have to do it on the other side. Matchy, matchy. All right. Dovetail. Now I need to stand up because I want them to be sort of, you know, matchy matchy. Not exactly, exactly doesn't exist in nature either, you guys, but it needs to make sense. That's too much ribbon. So when you're doing this, your ribbon can get away from you before you realize it. You need less than you think. You need less than you think. And I actually don't even like that as the point. I want to go under here. I just need two ties. And then I'm cutting that end tail just like the other side. ducks are going over to the the ducks are going over to the golf course I love hearing them fly over all right so there she is with all of her ribbon and now we are going to add in a little bit of this goodness 
I'm going to split this in two. It's three and three. I need a stem cutter in the worst way. That is my next thing. For sure. These are too cute. They're literally too cute. I can't stand it. See if we have any glue. A little bit, but. I'm so glad that we got this done this morning. I'm just trying to find that tinsel tie. These are so cute. He's too cute. But I tell you what. I think I'm going to get another because I think I want a ball, like one of these balls in both bows. So hold, please. And I think what I'm going to do is this super fun one. big though. It's so big though. We might have to do like, um, eh, I think it's fine. Go big or go home. Just getting ready to say something that would be totally inappropriate. Okay. Glue that. Oh my goodness. Yes, I love putting things in the center of the bows. It's just too cute. It really is too cute. Can't stand it. And because I've already cut that pick up, I'm probably gonna glue the rest of those on some tinsel ties and just finish this design off. Um, like, like that. So, I'll probably do them individually. This is where you do what you want. You do what you want. I'm just going to put this right on this tinsel tie. These have like the softest glitter. The sun will catch that. And it will just kind of shimmer. Okay. So now I'm going to come up here with this one. Hmm, I feel like my hair is falling. I'm not going to touch it again. We're going to leave it. Alright. That one's there. I'm going to come probably up here near the bow. here. Okay guys, I'm going to let this dry for just one second before I hold it up and let you see our finished project. I will put it up on the wall and get your photos and videos, okay? Let that dry for just a second. While it's drying, I'm going to put up my ribbon. 
leave me a B below if you love this project or if you decorate with bees. I love butterflies, but these bees sure are cute. I'm a butterfly girl, but these bees, there's something about them. They're super cute. All right, let's see if it's dry. Should be. Here she is. What do you think? Do you love it? All right, I'm gonna put her up on the wall. Thank you for joining me today. Make sure you go up to the top of the page and click follow. Make sure you share this video. This is a goodbye. It's I'll see you later.